saw my stream randomly went offline. I was like, aww. But is it back best... online? Are we back uh, online? I'm turning it back online now just to double check. Oh, we missed it's back online. We're back online, baby. We might have missed some good stuff. No, I check it pretty often, so I don't think we missed that much, if anything. It's your turn. Just a sec. Um, okay. So, Zing will, uh, move back And Lazarus goes for a strike. Okay, Lazarus. Oh, add one to that, but... I think you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> add one to that, just in case, but I think you know what has happened. Yeah. Uh, oh well, that's all good. Yeah, I think you had the right idea with the flanking thing. I mean... Oh, that, was a, a, that was a really good idea because he had advantage. Saving up uh, that's your attack for advantage, it? yeah, that's. Yeah, good. and it doesn't like fuck me in initiative either. Okay. Is that sarcasm, or does it actually lose your initiative? It doesn't. Mm. So it's oh. it's Zing's turn. We're both attacking this guy on both strike on on both sides. So once Zing's in position, he gets out his short sword. You moved it right before Zing, though. What, I do? Pretty sure. I thought that was if I, like, waited my entire turn. This was just a prepared action. Yeah, yeah. it was a prepared, prepared action. action. It may be different in 5th okay. edition. Okay, we'll continue as if it didn't move you until I finish looking it up. Zane, I will, I'll go ahead and look it up. Just run the, okay. run the stuff. Zane, do your magic. Zing performs the Jade Serpent Pincer attack. <laughs> and uh, shoves his short sword into the hobgoblin's, like, tendon. And attempts to slash it out from underneath him. He's not a hobgoblin. Where the fuck he is, I don't know. Troll guy. But that does hit him. So... You stab him. He roars in pain, but does not fall down. And then he kicks the same tendon that he just cut with what his bad. foot. What a badass. Uh, unfortunately, you kick some dust. Damn it! But... God, it really sucks when you miss something and you have advantage. It's just like, ah! Yeah, Why? It, it doesn't look like uh, readying changes your initiative. It does not appear that way. Yeah, where, where is it? Uh, 177. 177? 177? Yeah. We are in the concurrent... Hey, Arthur and I are agreeing on something. That's got to say something right there. It doesn't say. Exactly. It means nothing happens. And if you want to Google it, I'll we can Google after and just whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll just say it doesn't for now. I don't think it does. Okay, so that was Zhang's turn. Now it's back to the dead wolf, then it's Rex's turn. Uh, does Rex have advantage since he's flanked and whatnot? Does Rex have advantage? Yeah, like, since the guy's flanked and... Um, I don't think so. Well, he missed. I don't think only the flanking things get it. Okay, well, he missed. Okay, so... Blackjack. Blackjack! You guys hear a wisp of the sword 
And a sword comes flying at him. Directly in the front. It whistles by his nose. Ah! Whoosh. Done. Turn done. Lazarus. He's going to go for the killing bow. To the back. Does that hit? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have to look. It's close. <sighs> yes, that hits him. Deal the Killing blow. That was not a death blow. Now well. Um. He roars in pain again, but he still doesn't fall over. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Unless I can do like a switcheroo with the dwarf. Nope. Since he goes happen. next. It's all Rick's turn. Okay. Hammer. I swing my oh. hammer right at him. You hit the stalactite next to him. Yeah. All right. It's Clark's turn. Probably his last. He wives his morning star around. This time to hit at the guy who hit him last. Me. Oh, Where is that? <laughs> I put my shield up. Yeah, shield. Sweet. Um. I'm. I'm. I'm afraid. Uh oh. Well, hits you for bads. All right, let's keep. Let's keep going. No pause. <sighs> Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. I'm afraid he rolled a 20. I'm not sleepy at all. I heard means, oh man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's 20, so just roll the damage. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. We have a cleric. Oh wait, no, I forgot. He does an extra die. And that doubles too? Yeah, yeah, for shame. All that jazz. Drum roll, please. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba Who is he attacking? So how much health do you have? He's attacking Lazarus, I think. How much damage is he doing? How much health do you have? <laughs> how much damage is he doing? I'm not telling you the number until you tell me that. <laughs> I'm at six. What's your total health? Twelve. Am I instantly dead? No, actually you're not. Not 18 damage. Okay. Does 17 damage. <laughs> Jesus, if that hit anyone else, they'd be instantly dead. Um. No, I would have survived that. Not me. Well, yeah, not me. I would. Well, yeah, that would have killed me. Yeah. I've yeah. still got 12 health, so I'm fine. But that's a critical hit. That's a 1 in 20 chance. That's like potatoes, random ass. And not potato, potato, but just potatoes in general. Random. You know. You can't help it. It can't be helped. I was I was like, I know something bad's gonna happen, and I rolled a 20. Okay, that really sucked for you. Now it's Zing's turn. Get okay. him with gusto! He's Don't not flanking anymore. Sing's going for all the marbles. Are the marbles? Are the marbles? Whoa! Wow! Well, you take disadvantage, so you get it. You don't want to do that. Like, do I take disadvantage from being for, squeezing? For squeezing, yes. You take disadvantage, so there's no point. You get advantage, disadvantage. It doesn't okay, help you. Yeah. Never mind. I thought it. I thought I'd just get advantage. No. Yeah. We get each other. Okay, that was my first attack with a sword. That does not hit. And I try to kick him in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! You just crit him in the balls. <laughs> Foot crit into the balls. How much did you crit him for? Well, he's a half orc, so he gets an extra dice of damage. So it's 3d4 plus strength. This is this this d4? Yeah, unarmed strike is d4. 
Yeah, I think with uh without the proficiency in that jazz, it may be only D two or D three. It's D two. That flip is coin. more than enough. You crush him so hard he dies. <laughs> Into the balls. He throws up while he dies. Right onto you. No, not on me. Because he's like five feet away. So, I mean, he just throws I, up it, and falls. It was there. a bicycle kick. It was a bicycle kick to the ball. A bicycle kick. <laughs> the first kick missed. The second kick caught him. <laughs> awesome. It was distractics. We got to help this guy. Cleric, our friend who who took shit tons of uh, not good happy times to the oh, face. Can you it. help him? Yeah, immediately <laughs> I get my holy symbol out, put it right on his chest, cure light wounds. For... <laughs> As Lazarus is coming back to life, light wounds my ass! And, and... <laughs> <laughs> for the <laughs> shit. Uh, for the record, um the I only place that's it. that's bright light in here is around um uh Zhang because it just No, the fire is actually putting bright light out one one, one or two stairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, that and the fire. Yeah, you're right, you're right. The reason I'm saying that is just to be clear that there's no more bright light in the other area anymore. You know, in case goblins or other things saw that bright light, or in case they didn't, you know, so they may not know that we are actually here, maybe. Five feet of bright, five feet of dim. Okay, so um, you guys have, just, just looking at this stuff, you can figure that that is definitely um, stolen things, like from other playthings they have ambushed and stolen their stealth. Okay. Um, um, the, by the markings on some of them, you're pretty sure they belong to some of the different people in Fandalen. I'd like to look and see what this f big mofo has. Using my investigation abilities. Alright, then investigate. Investigation. I think it's only a plus. I get plus that. And then I'm. I did not. I, really yeah. Okay. Man, I've been underselling you. myself this whole time on my investigation. There we go. Well, um, I screwed up playing him because he had his morning morning stars have a, a reach. What? Well, do uh, you know what a morning star is, right? It's a spiked ball on a chain on a stick. Yeah, it depends on who you ask. I always hate that question, but anyway, okay, that's fine. What do I find on him? You find, well, his morning star. Okay. And yeah. he's wearing hide armor and he has a shield. You also find 40 gold. Is it like a medium sized shield? It is a regular shield. Okay. Of metal origin? Is it metallic? Um, it is... Oh, I already put his stuff away. It just says shield. Okay, then you could assume. Well, it can be a metal well. shield if you want. That's fine. It'll be a metal... It'll be a, a metal kite shield. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, that's, that's what he has on him. And a morning star? Yes, that's it. that was his weapon, it's a morning star. And you said 40 gold? 40 gold, hide armor, and a shield. And everybody's awake and good to go? Um, assuming you guys aren't going to look through this stuff. I'm going to look through the rest of the peoples also. That's my intent, is to look through the rest of the goblins that we haven't looked through. But that's, I mean, I already looked through one, so I'm kind of... The rest of the goblins all together have six gold, three silver. Um, I, I'm looking in the pile of boxes for the box that the kid wanted. Ah, give me an investigation check. Do they have any crossbow bolts? Who? Anybody? No, they had bows, so they had arrows. Okay. 
That's fine. Uh, you do not find the box you're looking for, but you do find a small chest. I open the chest. It has a bunch of gold in it. Actually, no, sorry. It has a bunch of copper and silver in it. <laughs> uh, how much are we talking? Uh, 600 copper. <laughs> and silver. And then underneath that... It, there are two. two potions of healing. And a small jade statuette of a frog with tiny golden orbs for eyes. Well, that's worth something. Not a character. Need someone to appraise it, appraise it, I guess. Where is this chest on the uh, map? In the middle of the pile. He just looked down and said, oh, what's this? A little chest? And opened it up and there was money in it. Okay. Okay, so how much copper are we talking? 600 copper. That's, uh... With six gold. Oh, how convenient. There are... Wow, that's a lot. Five party members, so that's... Okay. 120 copper per person. Just so silver. so everybody's aware, you know, twenty copper is two almost two and a half pounds of copper. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how much silver? One hundred and ten. One hundred and ten. I don't know silver. why he had so much copper. I guess he had a lot, robbed a lot of poor 22. people. Twenty-two. It's twenty-two silver. Okay, that's twenty-two per person. And I got okay. 40, 40 gold, right? Yeah, you found forty gold on. I him. give eight gold to all the other people. Okay, I got it. Um, did I find the chest, or did he find the chest? You found the chest, man. You found the chest. Okay, How so how much gold was in it? How much gold was in it? Out of character, zero. Yeah, in the chest there was no gold. There was copper and silver. Okay, uh, and then there and then there was two potions. Okay. And a frog that has two tiny golden orbs for eyes. All right. Well, I'm gonna take the frog. Did you tell anybody about it? I'm making no attempt to hide any of it. Um, making no attempt to hide. He, it. like, I, I hold up the frog, look at it, turn yeah, it this way and passing that. Passing it around. Okay. I'd like to try to determine what it's worth. Oh, then I hand it over to the to No, Jack. I just No, I'm just saying out loud as he's turning it over and I see him doing this, I'd like to attempt to determine what it's worth. Would uh I have no dwarfs, idea what check that is. Would the dwarf's um, stone come in come into play since it's made of jade? That'll yes, be actually a dwarf could try to do to do that, yeah, sure. I would um, say yeah, the dwarf gets the the bonus. I'm trying to remember. I think it's either investigation or insight, but I have to look. That's um, you. Stone I'm gonna just... to ant rolls. Well, Zing it's... also appears appears a little a little partial to it for some for some odd reason. He just seems to like it and okay. just kind of like you can use seems to love nature, it. religion, history, investigation, or perception. All or right, Arcana, investigation. Investigation all the way. Well, um, Albrecht's stone cutting would apply then to any of them. Investigation, that plus that plus that. And he has advantage on it. What You're... do I think it's worth? Uh, between 30 and 50 gold. Oh, that's it? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I will tell, um, Zang, I think it's... That's interesting piece, and possibly between 30 and 50 gold. Zing thinks for a bit, and he's like, I kind of want to hold on for to it for now, if that's okay. Doesn't um, bother me. I just like stuff made out of jade, and it kind of reminds me of things, so. Of home. It has some sentimental value to me. I don't see a problem with it. You've been pretty fair so far. Uh oh. Uh, actually, you know what? I got two potions. You can take one because I already have one. And then let's give um uh our wizard friend one of these potions. Okay. We gave. What did we do with the other stuff? We gave stuff to somebody. 
I don't remember, but um, we need to remember to give him. Uh, we gave you a potion or something. Yeah, I have I have one potion of healing from earlier because uh, it was in the little box on the wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I was checking. All right, cool. So now you have one, and now he has one. Yep. Now we rolling in potions. Jeez. Oh my god. Potions Man. out of every orifice. And then if we like, if we finish that other quest, we're gonna have like even more freaking even potions. More potions. <laughs> <laughs> Three more potions. Oh man, this is that's funny. Oh yeah, potions, potions, all day, every day. You know, if I can figure out how to make poison darts, where you have, um, like, you can load the poison into the dart, and then when you throw it at someone, it injects all the po the poison. In a pinch, what I could do is I could have another set of darts. And have them ha contain healing potion in them, and I could just throw healing potion darts well, at people. Well, it would still deal damage. It depends on the kind of dart. If I can make it where it's literally just like a syringe, and it's like a tranquilizer dart, and it's not like serrated or specifically designed to deal damage, I think it would still deal the damage. But it it would that's weird. Okay, it's an idea. It's it's, it's a, something it, I I think it's a valid idea out of character. I think it you would deal the damage that the dart would deal, but at the same time, I think that you would get the effect that the healing potion would give. Oh my gosh, I never thought about that before. I'm not sure what the hell's going on with the volume, but like, I have both of you at like 20%, and it's like you guys are just yelling. Yeah! He's not yelling to me. Okay. I think you're loud. I think you probably have it really loud because... uh. Is it uh, Jacob? Is really yeah, quiet. Jacob. Yeah, yeah, yeah we keep having to turn Jacob up because yeah. we can barely hear him. He's at 100% and it's like barely still. Or 200% and it's like barely still. Okay, I've got you guys at 10%. Potato at 30. And that should make it so I can hear Jacob now. Let me, let me go get a water really quick, by the way. Okay. I'm not sure if my stream froze. I'm not sure what's going on with it. It, it keeps lagging and stuff, That's so fine. the internet might just be having problems tonight. I have everyone at 100% except for Jacob, and he's at 200, and I can hear everybody okay, and Jacob's still quiet. That's where I'm at. Okay, so... And um... while Ross is going to use, uh, going to do whatever he was going to do, I, like, totally instantly forgot. I need to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Oh, so I get back and everybody else leaves. Leave. I healed myself. No! You healed yourself. Honestly, if you had just done that, I would not have minded in the slightest. Well, what's done is done. I don't think I have a picture for this guy. Because he's not an NPC, he's just an enemy. Like, just don't hold back. And this guy was not a not a uh, he was not a hobgoblin. Whoever I think uh, Ross was saying that he's not a hobgoblin. Probably an orc. Uh, the half orc in the party would tell you no. Okay, well he got something from like dealing an extra dice of damage, so he has half orc ferocity somewhere. It's called Brute, actually. You see, half Orc gets an extra die when he crits. This guy gets an extra die when he hits with a melee weapon attack. That is kind of all kinds of bullshit. So, so when he crits, that doubles too. Does it? Well, I don't okay, think it then. does. <laughs> Then you would have had still more than enough. But that's yeah. Okay. So I got a crazy idea while you're gone, Chris. Um, What's that? Can I get darts that actually like hold venom inside of them? You could have <laughs> someone make them for you. Okay. Or um, can he can he hold them like in a container? Well. 
I think that question will wait and find out because that's that was the original question last week. We keep going. What my idea is, I want to get those injection darts that hold venom inside of them where you can throw them at someone and like all the poison goes into their like system and fill them with healing potion. So I have like quick throw healing potion dart. That's an interesting idea. That's what I said. You you have to approach someone who could make that stuff and you haven't met anyone who can yet, so I mean you guys can't make them. You don't have a master smith in your party. I'm yet good with poisoner stuff and herbalism kits. You cannot inject someone with an herbalism kit. With a healing kit, that doesn't work. Uh, yeah. With sage. Oh, now there's a weed in your vein. I'm just saying that uh, when it comes to uh, alchemy and... Actually, I also have... Yeah. When it comes to alchemy and healing potions and all that jazz, I'm not half bad. And so, like... What I was thinking, honestly, outside of character, is that there's some sort of device that he can carry with him that he can hold some number of darts in it that are uh, imbued with some property of the liquid that he has put in it, if that makes sense. So that's just my, my and my character's idea, but I don't... In character, I don't know if I've ever heard of something, and out of character, I don't know if there is something. Hey, potato, what's over here? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice little look. There's nothing Hmm. there. So we didn't find the box that we Nope, but you still haven't explored the whole cave. I would like to search the area as well for the box, because I'm quite confident in my investigating capabilities all right go ahead and make that check you do not find the box i do not find the box of per description hey uh zing can you come with me for a second like with everyone else do it's a poop shoot that's what that is it's a poop shoot sure right to the wolves and i'm just going like all the way down Zang is the one who has a light, so I'm totally following Zang. At least within 20 feet of Zang. I'm going to set a bear trap. Out of there there enough? You're going to set one Yeah, is there enough room? Oh, sure. Out of character, like, where's your other bear trap? Although I know where it is out of character. (sighs) Okay, are we ready to keep going through here? I... Albrecht is... should be coming up with that. So, do you want to keep doing the super sneaky route that... sort of worked, or like... No, I think anything in here has probably seen us by... Well, I said, it's been working pretty fucking well. Okay, um... Well, I mean, I'm I'm lit right now, so do you want to dismiss the light currently on me and we can go back to sneak? Uh, sure. And now we're in darkness. Sounds good to me. I'm hanging on to the door. All right, follow my follow my footsteps. And he shoots at you. He shoots. Bam! Oh man, really? Yeah, he came back to do his job. Oh, so lame. It's lame. The guy does his job. Did he see him? Does it surprise him? Because, like, he's... The... Well, he heard you guys talking, you know. You weren't going to be very quiet. Yeah, but, I I mean, the door can see in dark vision. Does it and also, him? there was light everywhere, so that really didn't help me either. But dark vision... He was caught surprised by someone with a ready to action. Yep. Fair enough. Wah, 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 wah. Let's see, how much damage is it? You take eight damage. Cool. Eight piercing damage. It hits you right in the shoulder. It hurts. 
he then makes a rather loud screeching noise. All right, well, I guess so much for the stealth pro. By the way, for future reference, um, if we're going to do the stealth approach, we probably shouldn't go to the middle of the cave, lit up, and then go, Hey, do you want to be stealthy now? Just, just saying. My character doesn't know that shit. But I'm explaining it right now. I think you're more screaming in pain from a bolt sticking in you. I can do whatever the hell I want. I am Zen. <laughs> I am Zen. I am Well, it's just one guy, but you have to roll initiative. Here we go. I'm rolling my initiative. That's applicable. I'll be right back. Every single person here has horrible initiative. That's because it's like dexterity. That's all it is. No, I mean, you all rolled low. Every single person rolled low. Well, whenever you only get to roll once and you only get like a plus one, there's a 25% chance that you roll low. Two of you got sevens and two of you got sixes. That's just luck. Oh, cool, I have the highest initiative. Wow, that's Tang's sad. the only one with even halfway decent, and it's still less than the goblin. Alright, so what's going on? Well, I'm about to sort the initiative, and you're going to fight him. Alright. Is Mike good? Is Mike good? Is everyone there? I am here. Okay. Well, uh, you see, he shot you. And now he's going to try to shoot you again. Okay. I can't do jack shit against that. Yup. He shoots the bridge. Pew. Apparently he only had one good shot in him. Zang, it's your turn. I'm gonna go kill his ass. One... Two, three, four. Hi. <laughs> Chop in the throat. Maybe. Oh no, maybe. This is happening. That definitely hits him. Come on, damage. Well, you crush his arm. He ain't using that bow no more. You hit him again. And you completely finish crushing him. I did actually not. I did not expect you to just go out and kill it like that. Yep. With two of my lowest rolls as well. Silence descends. Other than, the, you know, the waterfall and freak. Zing stares down at the body and yanks the arrow out of his shoulder and throws it in the water and then quickly searches his corpse. You quickly search his corpse. You find all the regular goblin stuff and two gold. How much uh, XP do you guys have, by the way? Everyone has 75. I haven't given anyone any extra experience yet because this is all kind of one giant thing. Yeah, we're all at 75. I didn't have any experience at all on my sheet, so that's why I was asking. Seeing goes, I'm hurt. Can you come here? One, two, three, four, five, feeling along the wall. Five, I can't see you. Just keep inching forward. There's a bridge. I try to make my way across the bridge blind. Just be careful. You crawl if you have to. I can I can see you. I'll give you direction if you get too dumb. <laughs> Come to the sound of my voice.
I am as close to you as I can be. Okay. Once he is, um, I pass a, a dart to him, and I, I say, give this to Tom Seller. Have him cast light on it. He does the thing. Pass it back. I shield it with, like, one hand while I do a healer's kit to him. So I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. You get that many hit points. That's... I then hand the dart over. Thank you. Okay. Um, so don't uncast... Don't uncast the light. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in my back pocket so you can see my glowing ass and just follow the glow. It should not give off that much light. I'm, it, it, it should just give you something to follow so you're not completely just lost. Okay? Okay. Um, I guess the rest of the party's following behind Tom Solid. Yep. So I'm following the door. That's all I know. Yeah. So just you keep... in the darkness. Keep in touch with each other. And Zing looks forward. With the glowing dart in his... back pocket. <laughs> you guys gonna move? I can't see where I'm going. Yeah. Oh yes, there is. <laughs> mm. Cool. Zing will stealthily go down the corridor. Wow. Oh. Wow. You can hear ahead of you chittering. It sounds like goblins. Super. Slow, stealthful, stop, right there. stop, stop there. There. Lazarus is going to try and be quiet. My character, of course, is going to try <laughs> to be quiet. That's, That's applicable. Okay, you hear, you still hear the sound of goblins, but you don't see any goblins. Okay, is there any light coming from up there? Um, I don't think so, but let me look real quick. Also, um, Albrecht's probably no, moving forward. There is Sorry. no light. Oh, you can see that there's actually kind of, the air is a little bit hazy. Like from smoke. Hmm, Zing sniff, but he continued. Slowly, stealth, stop, stop, mm -hmm. stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. In fact, all three of you go back. Now move forward. Stop. You see a lot of goblins. And you that... see... That is Sildar down there. He looks uh, very scared, I think. Uh, he looks like he's been beaten up a whole lot. And yes, I believe he is scared. <laughs> oh, that dude. Um, well, the thing is, as soon as you step there, um... Actually, you never rolled a sneak, did you? I was saying that I was sneaking, and I you were asking me to roll. That, yeah. roll, roll a sneak. Roll a sneak. Sneaky, 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 sneak. Those are very loud chips. Fire. They are. Okay, you're actually... They do not notice you. 
Um, so you want me to move up now? Since I was like right behind him? Yeah, go ahead. You can move him and Tom up. Okay. But I see the big boss guy, right? <laughs> you see, uh, well, you know that other larger goblin? He looks very similar. Okay, Zing will whis a whisper la back to Lazarus. There's a ton of goblins in here, and there, there's a huge goblin, and then our, there's our our friend that's not looking well at all, and he looks really beat up. So I'm gonna charge in, and I'm gonna kick ass, and I need you to cover me. Got it? I can charge in with you. That's what I'm intending for. Okay, let's go. And then he's gonna do the thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lazarus is probably. Except I'm not gonna actually charge. I'm gonna move. Before you do anything, you should know he is facing away from you. These guys are surrounding a small, what some coals, which is kind of in the middle of them there. And there's no light. Uh, no, they're like some old, they're just like smoldering a little, so there's not, they're That's not really giving just any checking. light. Just checking. No, nothing useful. No light. Can't see. Okay. Okay, so, um, he's facing away from me, right? Um, how, how tall is that rise right there? It actually doesn't say. So it's 10 feet. 10 feet. Could I easily just get up on that? It's going down. No, that's 10 feet higher. The goblin oh, it is? is? Yeah, th this up here is 10 feet higher. Oh. Huh. You can kind of see him sitting up, so you can like see his head a little bit. You can see this guy pretty fully because he's standing up. All right. Well, I know what I'm going to do anyway. Um, I'm going to do the same thing I was going to do in the first place. Um, I'm going to rush in and I'm going to try to get right there. Okay. And from right there, I'm going to um, attack that middle goblin right there. That seems legit. I th I think that is perfectly cromulent. And I said I was going to charge in after him, so... Yep, go on in. I will swing. At one of these three squares. What? <laughs> Actually, no, because glowing gas. I can tell what their glowing gas is. Yeah, I mean that sh there should be enough dim light to at least see silhouettes. What is that? But oh, what that's is who to that's sort of his. Call. I think it, you can choose who to hit. It's you can, that tell guy. you can tell there's something in those squares. However, you don't have uh, dark vision, so you are getting still getting disadvantage. Oh, okay, that's that is. You screwed that roll up. Try that again. Uh. Is it keep lowest one? It's just K1, I think. No, K1 is like... Eh. Okay. Wait, do I have advantage because, like, I'm charging and there's Oh, yeah, spies? you have surprise, so you have advantage. So I'll take the first one of those two rolls. Yeah, sweet. So that that is enough to hit him. We dash. Does he roll? To attack. That 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 actually kills that goblin. He had two health. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then um, 
Can I attack now? Uh, yes, 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 certainly. Um, you have advantage. You have, have advantage on both attacks. Yeah, well, he missed with his first one. Oh. Okay. Um... Uh, you still get your other attack. Well, I mean, did did I hit? No, 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 you missed. Both times? No, you had advantage on your first attack. I know, that's Both. why I rolled again. Yes, that, that did not hit. Okay, so I, I missed both times. I rolled. Both times you rolled, yes. Okay. I thought you meant you missed with both attacks, and I'm like, you only No, I only did one attack, but you had, yeah. I was confused. Well, I'm higher roll than that. That is a higher roll. You clobber him with uh, whatever you're hitting him with. Describe your attack. Kick to the face! Boot to the head it is. Boot to the head! Doesn't quite kill him. That's yeah, fine. Alright, I'll, um, I'll right, be right back. My arm alarm's going off that tells me to go to bed. Um, can you roll I know, I'm going go to bed. Yeah, because otherwise I stay up can too late and end up falling first? asleep in random places. Can you roll initiative first? I know how that happens. So, how much light is being given off by the dart? Uh, where is the dart? In his back pocket. Whose back pocket? Oh, I didn't know the dart was in his back pocket. Then, yep. you, then you wouldn't have had disadvantage. Well, did he oh. get us super dead? I didn't know we were in light. Are we in light? Uh, in that room there is now. Oh, in his okay. back pocket, because the light shines through his pocket. Okay, so he had that. It only really shows, like, down here. Where's Blackjack? Blackjack, did you roll initiative? What? Did you roll initiative? Yeah, I got a seven. Uh, I don't see your roll. I'll believe you, though. All right, then I'll roll again. No, I said I'll, I'll believe you. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me help you out. Oh, no, there you Okay. Yeah, I'll take that instead, then. So it, it, There wasn't another roll from you up here. I don't know what happened. I think he's using it from the last initiative. Maybe. I don't think so. I think I had a good last initiative. No, only Zing did. Oh, yeah. No, oh, mine, yeah, must, right. mine must be that, uh, no, I didn't roll. But mine is still 7 because, uh, I added 4 and I shouldn't have added 4. So, yeah, it's still 7. Well, the funny thing is, is that doesn't move you in initiative at all. All right. <laughs> Going from a 9 to a 7. That's good. Well, Black Shape ties him. Well, it ties him with Rex. I have a plus two, whatever that's worth. Rex also has a plus two. Oh, you can do the d20 or whatever. I'm just leaving it the way it is. But you know who's going first? No. Uh, that, that big guy up there? Yep. He's going first. 
And since I don't need to wait for anyone to get back, oh wait, yes, I do, because he's attacking Ross. I mean, could jump attack down and hit me. Nah, he's going after Ross. Well, I'll throw my shield in the way. Whenever but you said it. You said it's ten feet up, right? Yeah. Is it a morning A bow. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, is your defense with the shield only against melee attacks, or is it against all attacks? All attacks. All attacks. So now that's as all physical attacks, or is it just all attacks? Huh. I think it applies to all attacks. That's Let's read the power, but yeah, that seems a bit much. I'm back. What? What's going on? All the awesome is going on. Uh, you're being attacked. But Arthur is to protect you no matter what. When a creature yeah. you can see attacks a target other than you guys within five feet of you, you can use uh, the, this to impose this advantage on the attack. Oh, but it, you but must it uses, be. It uses your reaction. Okay. That's important. It uses your reaction. You get one of those around. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. makes it significantly less good. But also I'll impose this advantage on it. Okay, so it's his it's his shot. And he is going to shoot you, Mr. Chargin, first. That would be, of course, Mr. Monk. Unfortunately, you are so fast that he misses you. Unfortunately. Yay. Oh, look, it's Goblin number five's turn. He's going to stab. Oh, he's going to stab Lazarus. He stabs Lazarus. For six damage. Now Goblin one's going to come around. He wants some of the action. <laughs> he also stabs Lazarus. He hit my 18 AC? Uh, he rolled an 18. How much damage? Wah wah. Uh, three. He got minimum damage. And now it is Lazarus' turn, because he got the best initiative. Lazarus. Was the whole round? Out of people. What? I I charged attack as a sneak as a surprise round. Out yeah, but players. they had goblins move as surprise round too. No they didn't. We snuck. After they after they did their surprise round it went to the top of the round. Yeah. And I never got a turn. You you never said anything. What do you mean? We were doing the surprise round, and you just stayed silent. Yeah, but you just made goblins attack during the surprise round. No, that wasn't the surprise round anymore. That was just their turn. Yeah, and then you said, okay, we're back at the top of the round, which means if that was their turn, I just never got a turn. You didn't do anything in the surprise round. No, I know this. I'm not saying anything about the surprise round. There, he's saying that because everyone else's initiative sucked, it's to the top of the player's round, which is me. I I'm totally... saying Lazarus had the best initiative of all the players. Ah, That's okay, so, okay, okay, okay. I'm back, okay. All right, I understand. Oh, you thought this we went to the whole shocked. round and just skipped you. Oh, yeah, okay. and and everybody else in the back of the tunnel there. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what happened. That, that <laughs> okay. guy's getting chopped. I, I'm good. I understand. Chopping. He deserves it. 
He has a lot of health, though. He takes that much damage. He still has some health. And that's uh, the end of my turn. Well, now it's Goblin 3's turn. He jumps up on the stairs. And he's going to try to stab at you. Uh, he, he's slightly wobbly on the stairs, and he misses you. He misses Zane. Okay, now it is Albrecht's turn. Alright, I move in here and swing my hammer at the goblin. You smash him. You... That is just enough. You smash him in the pulp. You go split. All right, that's the end of my turn. All right. Then it is Goblin number four's turn now. It's been dangerous for you, Mr. Monk. Except he can't hit worth for crap. It's Blackjack's turn. Blackjack rushes in. And lunges at the one he's right next to. Actually, I was up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And lunges at the one he's right next to. Or uh, this one? Yeah. Yep. yep. Oh no. He has no. advantage. Yes, he does. He says, oh no, 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 no. You slip on the blood from the other goblin. Ah, oh, I miss. Shame. Cruel irony. Done. Turn done. Rex. Come in here and shoot some fire. Magic oh, missile. That, well, that works too. Okay, who's your targets? One, two, three. So number one, number four, number three. Uh, ah, so, three different targets. So roll each 1d4 plus one separately. Well, num number one's dead. Oh, wait. Did you say num Did you say him? No. No. He that guy? Okay, five, four, and three then, okay. Okay, number five is dead. And the last guy. So, Max, Max. Number four is not dead, but he is hurting. Number three, also not dead. You killed one of them, that's good. That is the end of Tom Selleck's turn. Now... It is Zhang's turn, because he got the worst initiative. Okay, um, I'm glad we got two dead people right there. That little crazy motherfucker on the stairs, I don't like him, but I want to finish off the other guy, because I already did damage to him. He's looking pretty hurt, actually. <laughs> number three and number four are both hurt. Which one were you out after? Uh, the one... This one? You hit him. You, you slash into him. Probably killing him. Yep, yep, he's done. He's dead. You rip open his guts. They are Next. everywhere. Hey, I'm kicking him off the stairs. You kick him off the stairs. <laughs> he's over here, dead now. And now he's dead. He's sitting there barely conscious. He can't even say anything. 
Of course, this guy looks really annoyed that you're up there now. I've still got minor right. Can I there administer is, a... There is no such... There's a bonus action if you have one of those. Oh, but you right. just used it. Moving actions got it done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You used your bonus really action good. for your other attack. We're good, we're good, we're good. Got okay, it Okay, well, it's, it's Mr. Goblin Leader's turn. He doesn't like you being up here. He has a bow, right? He has a bow, yes. He also has a sword. And he's gonna take out his sword. And drop the bow? He can hold the bow in one hand and his sword in the other. Oh, you're right, you're right. I'm dumb. And he is going to slash at you with his long sword. Uh, Zing will try to jump over it with his crazy acrobat. Um, your AC is 18, right? No. What is that? 13. Oh, I thought you were high <laughs> AC for some reason. Yeah, he, he, he hits you. <laughs> he hits you pretty good. Uh, he hits you for eight. Down I go. Oh, uh, really? Did any oh. goblins hit you? No. You should. You uh, have more than eight. Wait, what? Oh, no, you I only. Build. You didn't. I only healed them for for seven or six. Yup. Ugh. Miles grimly at what he has done. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Goblin number five is dead. Goblin number one is dead. So now it's Lazarus' turn. Lazarus is going to get up here and. Uh, yeah, he's just going to try and, like, shield bash the guy, like, off the cliff. Um, I'm pretty sure shield bash has to be a push. Would. Throwing him down that way not be a push in this case? Yeah, well, you're sliding him laterally. You're, like, sweeping him to the side. That's not the same as a push. Unfortunately, well, I agree with Potato. Well. I, and Mike, it doesn't actually matter if you agreed with me or not. I know, but I'm making you feel better, I hope, by hearing a second voice. I mean, I, I would love to say yes, but I cannot, unfortunately. Well, he gets... Actually, I can get to overtop the orc. Yep. You can certainly do that. He's down. I am a carpet. He is down. <laughs> He needs to make a athletics or reflex save. Oh, and he's still just a goblin, so he has shit for stats. Still gets a plus two. And he gives well, a five. Woo! He gets flung off the cliff. Well, you know what? You didn't do any damage to him, but that fall did. And I'll shift into his old square, I guess. Didn't kill him, though. But it knocked no. him prone. But, but it the... knocked him prone. I think that, that's that... kind of important. That, Albrecht, that is. Albrecht, I think your hammer has a calling. Quite <laughs> ominous. <laughs> it's your turn, Albrecht. There you go. Move up to him and... Line my hammer straight up and just try and smash his skull. <laughs> you have advantage, by the way. You hit him. Ah. Uh. That was a good move. And it smashes his face in. Dang. Oh, was that, hope not was that the killing blow? Oh. That was the killing blow. Oh. He did go on damage to that full, apparently. Yeah. Uh, he took, like, nine damage from it. 
Uh, I'm assuming so. He's still dying over there, but um, he's not dying. He's he actually is at one hit point. He he is okay. No, 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 no. The orc. orc. Oh yes, the orc is still dying. Yes. Uh, let me put let me put the frowning face on him. I'll uh, I'll, I'll fix that. Uh, Let's add this here. I'll be searching all the goblin bodies with my investigation. Well, there are five goblins, including the big guy. Well, you're searching the lower four, or lower five first. Or sorry, there's only four. Go- no, there's five goblins. Yep. I'm searching them first. You said those five goblins have a total of eight gold, seven silver, and two copper. Whoa, 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 whoa! There. Also Eight gold, in... seven silver, two copper. Yes. They don't and then, I search... and then I search the other guy. You search the big guy. By the way, did we search the one that's in the hall? I don't think we ever searched him. Just on no, no one searched him. I don't. No, I don't think we did. So you no, no, one one him. Him. no one searched him. No one searched him. And you have you have dark vision. Zing did. Oh, did Zing search him? Yeah, he got two gold. Oh yeah. Oh, all right, just making sure. Well, since turn order is kind of important right now, uh, Zing, make your death saving throw. The rogue rolls his eyes. I have made my death saving throw. You are now stabilized. Okay. With one HP. On the big guy. We go back over here. Scroll down to him. Okay, so I just have one health now. You have one health. You are conscious. And the other person who did that would just have you stabilized. At zero. You find a small pouch which has three gold teeth in it. You also find 15 silver. You find another bag that is tied shut. And you also find Sildar's gear. What is Sildar? Oh, Sildar's gear. I'm fucking stupid. Oh, wait, no, I read that wrong. You don't find Sildar's gear. That's the end of a sentence, but it's also SP period, like, because they do that for silver pieces. Where's the so box? A continuation. I opened the, uh, the, the bag that's tied shut. Well, guess what's in the bag? A box? There's a it's box a in box. the bag? There's a box in the bag. It appears to be made out of a very dark wood. I attempt to to open open the box. There's no seams or anything on it. How are you going to open it? No seams. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has a lid or anything. So it looks like just a block of wood then. Yeah, it just looks like a block of wood. The only reason you call it a box is because the guy who sent you after it called it a box. Oh, okay. I look very carefully looking for seams or a way to open the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What? Can I use my investigation to look for a way to open the box? You can use perception, investigation. Okay, I will investigate this box. I said, I will say this right before I do look at it, look at it. I say, I found what I think is the box, but it is looks like a block of wood. Well, I found Sildar, so... Wait, no. I can't put that in yet. Yeah, you found Sildar. He's conscious, but he's kind of out of it. I'm going to try and tend to his wounds. Well, you can I'm going to in- interrogate. Oh, yeah, you're what, scared. Chris? Said you can use one of your Healy things. Uh, so it's this plus his level. Uh, oh, geez, what is his level? He actually does have a level. Well, he gets that added to that health. Plus 
Oh, geez, somebody angered the police. They're going around outside. They're probably five miles away. Okay, so Sildar, Sildar, Sildar. Wow, he has a lot of attacks. Wow, um, he's level five. The hell Have is he been taken happening? out by fucking level one goblins? He has eight five, or so of them. Five d eight plus five health. Well, he gets that much extra health. On top of that, what I rolled. Well, he looks a, a lot better now. I'm going to take that off and... I can't remember what that was supposed to mean. Probably he was dazed. Um, it actually might mean something like that. Hey, uh, you oh, okay there, Silver? He was weakened. He's not weakened anymore because you killed everyone else. Silva, are you okay? Hmm? Oh, it's you! What happened to the, the goblins? Uh, I shoved the one that was with you off of a cliff, and I assume everyone else just, uh, killed them. Ah, so you killed the goblins. Ah, they had I a... Think we... mm -hmm. I think we killed every single one of them. Good. They were evil creatures. Also, Chris, can you, like, reveal over here since, like... Oh, yeah, there's nothing there. The magical dart plug is over there. There's nothing there. Did you, well, kill, their, did you kill their boss? Uh, was it the, like, really big guy with the morning star? Uh, yes, he was a bugbear with a morning star. Yeah, we killed him, too. That's good. Because otherwise he might give us trouble. He uh, wasn't really, you know, stupid or anything. Oh, well, he is dead, so... I don't eh. suppose it matters anymore. So, where's Gundren? Who knows? He vanished in a pillar of light. Vanished well, in a... Well, a flash of light. So, magic? Probably. He left his, like, Warhammer behind. He wouldn't have left that behind. I know! He practically sleeps with that thing. I mean, I sleep with my sword too, but... Well, uh, oh man, I guess we'll have to tell his brothers that he's missing. Probably. His brothers, Tharden and Nundro, if we can find them. Uh, they, they're somewhere on the outskirts of, uh, Fandalen, so... Well, I can tell you right now, and I think you need to know, they did find the entrance to Wave Echo Cave. Okay. That's important, I think? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's probably a whole bunch of treasure and stuff there. And there's the, 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 uh, the forge. Okay. You had my attention at treasure. <laughs> The little bit I managed to overhear is that the uh, Clark, which was that bugbear, he was supposed he was supposed to waylay us, and particularly waylay Gundren, which apparently has worked because he you say he disappeared. And mm -hmm. uh, I also heard that someone called the Black Spider sent word that the dwarf was to be brought to him, so that's probably where he was sent. I, I don't know who or what the Black Spider is. It's just so that's what they said. Well, neither do I. Well, but let's... Bef before we leave, I think... He, okay, he had a map on him. Gundren had a map on him that shows us, that shows the location of the, of, the, of the cave. We didn't get that map. Well, he had it on him, so when he got taken away it probably went with him oh that's not good so um now these guys i mean i don't know exactly who these guys are um well you guys didn't interrogate any of them yeah but wait well, what about that map that we got the one with the weird x I, that was needing to hear let, let me let me see that map 
I show him the map. Oh, th this is definitely not Gundren's map. Okay, <laughs> just want to make sure. That was the map now, leading to here. Now, I, I have a contract contact in Fandalin named Iarno Albrecht. He's a wizard. He, he got to Fandalin two months ago. And he was going to help try establish order in the area, because, you know, wizards. And well, uh, he's part he's partnered with the, the Lord's Alliance, but the thing is, is they never received any word back from him. So I decided to come in and investigate. And, uh, well, I intend to go back to uh, Fandalen and continue investigating. I mean, I hope you guys are going back there, too. We, I think we'll need your help. Uh, I mean... I mean, you guys put a stop yeah. to these, these goblins. I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you put a stop to these raids, but there's other things. Other things have been going horribly wrong in the area. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll be up for it. Um, when when we get back to the town, uh, I'll I'll stop by my house and I can I can give you guys each ten gold. Just just as as thanks. That's all I can. I, they they took my gear, so I can't give you anything else. Oh, I can uh, give you each ten gold. We might have found your gear. What? Where is it? Uh, there was like an entire cache a bit over. Like everything in here is dead besides like three wolves. Oh, the wolves at the front? Oh, they're yeah. they're harmless. They're chained up. Yeah. So everything else in here is dead. But you said you found stuff. Yeah, there's just a ton of stuff. Well, how about we go look at that stuff? Maybe maybe there's something important in there. Yeah, I okay. think I need to check out. I'm like, I can't follow this anymore. I'm just okay. Like, then let's just stop. let's just stop. Here. I'm also super sleepy. I'm following it, but like, I'm just kind of waiting on what I get for my role on the box, oh. like forever. That role. Yeah. Uh, and you were searching <laughs> for a way to open it. Yes. The answer is you. You don't find a way to open the box. Dang. Okay. No, yeah. No, that's that's a really good roll, but you don't find a way to open the box. <laughs> All right. Well, this was fun night. Thanks, guys, for playing. It was um, awesome. Can we get how much EXP we get? Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm going to give it to you.